99 won the whale free zone in the morning. I'm Jim Free, joined in the studio by Billy Joe Armstrong. Oh, no, no, no. It's, not. it's <laughs> Sunny Weeks. Sunny, how are you, sir? Good. How are you, Jim? <laughs> Very good. Uh, Sunny's here because, uh, and I'll tell my side of the story. Uh, I think it was Friday morning. I'm going through my Facebook page and I see you on stage with Green Day. And I'm sitting there and I'm looking at it. And I'm like, no, is this Photoshop? There's no. And then there was a video, uh, your buddy Mike. Mm-hmm. Uh, put the video up and I'm like holy crap he got on stage with Green Day this is awesome uh, and I after I spoke to you and uh, I put the uh, the uh, blog together about it all I kept thinking was God he must be like on cloud nine because I felt like it happened to me I mean I was so happy for you because like that's got to be a dream I know you're a huge Green Day fan so so let's back up the first time I met you and you were singing for uh, Reckless Marcy, mm-hmm. and you guys were doing Green Day. I'm looking, I'm looking at, it, I'm like, God, not only does he sound like him, play like him, he even kind of looks like him. So here you are on stage. This is like your favorite band, correct? Yeah, yeah. I I always th- thought too because I definitely grew up idolizing them, and and uh, I remember the first time I saw, I think it was the Basket Case video. Mm-hmm. It was back around the Duke era and all that, and mm-hmm. I saw him, and they. He had that Gumby arm just killing his guitar, and I knew at that moment I I wanted to be him. You yeah. know, it was it was that hero thing. But um, I always think that when somebody idolizes somebody so much or looks up to them and tries to emulate them and be them, uh, it kind of like changes your d- genetics or something. Because I've I've gotten that before about looking like him. I think it's just from studying them so much that yeah. uh, over the years. It, <laughs> you know what I now, mean? how many times have you seen them in concert this would be the fifth time okay and yeah. just about every show they pull somebody out of the audience to sing correct yeah they've been doing it since probably 2004 i mean probably before that but pretty exclusively since then all the time so. okay so so tickets back thursday you headed down to home Dell, new jersey mm-hmm. right and uh or no uh no we we stayed in philadelphia okay and it was in Camden. We took a Camden. ferry over to it. Okay. So you took the ferry over. Who was all with you? I know there were other musicians with uh, you. My fiance's, my future father-in-law, Chris Lewis, okay. uh, Mike Wilcox, and Dan O'Voody, who is another big musician in the area. Okay. Yeah. So, And I saw, the, I saw the videos and the, and the pictures leading up to the event. Yeah. We like in the hotel. <laughs> <laughs> Looked like you were mooning people outside a window or trying to at least. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, so then you get to the event and... In your mind, are you thinking, I want to get up close, I want to get on stage? Yeah, I was determined. I I said it a few times. I mean, it, again, it, it's been a dream to do that. And uh, what was cool, when we got into the the place where we were, we were right next to Billy Joe's mic, and the stage was, like, thinner than usual. Usually he has a catwalk that goes out in the audience, which splits up the floor into two sections. Mm-hmm. And this... I said to them, you know, if there's any situation where this could work, this this will be it, yeah. you know, because the floor was a smaller, um, smaller floor, you know. Okay. Um, but yeah, I, I planned on it. So sure. now you said something about the, they had you up on their hands, basically. Like I, I'm picturing like a cheerleader on top yeah. of the pyramid. Is that what it was like? <laughs> it was, <yeah. laughs> so then I, Billy Joel <laughs> looks out and he sees you, points at you. What did you think as soon as he pointed? Well, when he was walking back, he when you see in the video, he goes one direction, and that that's the point where they're lifting me up. And um, when he starts walking back, I I just had this feeling it was there in my heart that it was about to happen. And when he looked at me, I think he probably looked at Chris or somebody first. I'm not sure. I haven't asked them yet because he says, "Does he know it?" And yeah. I'm sure they were all, you know, yeah. pointing at me. But um. When he when he asked me, you know it, swear to God, and I I stone cold face was just like yes, <laughs> and he's like all right, all right. So then, did you crowd surf up or just like part the, yeah, the crowd to yeah, get up they, there? Because all of a sudden you just see you come flying up on stage. Yeah, they they <laughs> picked me up, the people in front of us, and kind of crowd surfed me. Yeah, the the security guards just launched me. Felt like <laughs> I was flying out of a cannon. Cool. So you get up on stage. Yeah, and uh, Billy Joe comes over to you, and well, no, that's the only part of the whole performance that I'm, I consciously remember. Okay. I flew up on stage. I fixed my glasses and looked forward and saw the crowd. And then I thought to myself, I need to look left now. 
you know. Yeah. And and I look left, and there he is, just arms wide open, the big Billy Joe buggy eyes looking at me, and I yeah. was like, "Holy crap, man!" So uh, I walked towards him, and after that, performance moan kicked in, and big blur. So what were? Do you remember what you were saying to him? Because it looked like you were saying something, and he was like, "Yeah, I just head. said it's it's so nice to finally meet you." Yeah, that's, that's what I said. That I was it because it seemed more. like you were talking for like twenty seconds in the video, but that. Yeah, no, I wanted <laughs> to say more, but you know, in the heat of the moment, it was just a rush, and I didn't want to. I wanted to do it right. Yeah, you know. All right, so then you grab the microphone, you turn around, you're facing what fifteen thousand people. I've heard so many different numbers. <laughs> it was a lot. Yeah, <laughs> and what, lot what? What? I mean, were you afraid you were going to lose? Yeah, I mean, you sang the song how many? Probably hundreds of times. Yeah. But here you are in front of 15,000 fans. Well, I, I keep telling people if this had happened any other year, I'm sure I would have done well. I've been singing Green Day forever. But I, this year I've, I've really honed a lot of my stage skills, and I, I, don't know, I felt ready for it. Yeah. So as you can see, you know, I, I, it all went away, and I was just performing. And, yeah. and that part where I run over to Mike Dirt. And we start jamming together, and Billy Joe runs around. It felt like we were old friends. Yeah, there was no, I wasn't trembling or anything like that. I was just in it with them guys, you know. So yeah. that was. It, I mean, I'm telling you, I I felt like it was almost like it happened to me. I felt so happy for you. I'm like, thank you. I'm going yeah. around telling everybody. I'm like, did you see Sunny Weeks on stage? <laughs> I mean, it, it was it was that cool of a thing. Now I know you have uh, other things that you're working on. We're gonna take a break, and then we'll come back and talk to you a little bit more. All right? Okay. Cool. 99 won the Whale Binghamton's Classic Rock Station. Jim Frey and you in the free zone, still in the studio with uh, Sonny Weeks uh, from Reckless Marcy and uh, who was on stage with Green Day. Uh, we just spoke about that, and uh, it'll be on my blog later if you, if you missed the first part of this. But, uh, Sonny, you, know, you, you play with Reckless Marcy. Mm -hmm. uh, you guys are one of the biggest draws in the area. Uh, what shows do you have coming up? Do you want to promote any uh, of those? Yeah, definitely. There's so many, but uh, I guess if I had to zero in on a couple... Saturday, next Saturday, Wing Fest, the Harley Davidson meet, and the Lick Breast Cancer Benefit wow. all in one day. Wow. Yeah. That's pretty busy. <laughs> so, now, <laughs> so you'll be out there with those guys doing that. And uh, now I know you, you write music yourself. And, I do, uh, yeah. You, you've got some original songs. Tell us about uh, what you're working on now. Yeah, it's been a while since I put anything out there. It's 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 been hard to... I mean, I've got Vape, which is an original band, and then I have something on the way that is actually a, a pretty awesome deal. I'm playing with some guys formerly of Elevator Death Squad, Ruination, and also Hating Amy, which is a newer band. Uh, we're coming out soon. It's called Calvin Decline. It's going to be a hard rock <laughs> nice. show. Okay. But um, Now, will that be all originals? That'll be that all originals, too. But okay, cool. as far as my solo stuff, I haven't released anything in a while, and I've been holding on to this song that was uh, a really pivotal moment for songwriting for me. I wrote it about my grandfather who passed away when I was a teenager, and I never really got to know him, and it, it just kind of lay dormant for a long time. And I wrote a song about it, and it's called Emery, and me and my buddy of Vape, James, uh, are making a video, and it's just about done. I'm thinking about, with all of this attention from the Green Day thing, releasing it maybe early next week for people to listen to. I'm really, really proud of it. I, I love it. I think it's very, I think people are going to like it. Okay. Now when you, when you say release it, is that going to be through your website or how would people get to it? Yeah, it will be on my Facebook page. I, I'll, it'll probably be on the band's Facebook pages too. Um, but definitely mine. I try to direct everybody to my Facebook page just because I'm involved with so many musical acts mm -hmm. that it's easier to just, uh, that's all I do on Facebook is promote the music. So yeah. they won't have to see any pictures of food too often. It's always music, you know? <laughs> I hear you. Well, I don't mind seeing food. I don't I'm, either. Until I'm hungry and then it's like, damn it. <laughs> yeah, my, my girl made a delicious Italian feast the other night and I posted a picture of it. <laughs> nice. There you go. It was worthy. <laughs> so it's, it's just sunny weeks on Facebook and, and people will see it because uh, so many mutual friends in the area. Mm. Uh, and uh, getting back to Reckless Marcy, uh, yeah. you've, uh, I, I would imagine you've played with these guys since that happened, correct? Yeah, we just played in Ithaca this weekend. Okay. Was there any mention on stage of it? Yeah, I went into a little speech about following your dreams and, and that 
somewhere in the latter half of the night. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. Well, that's awesome. All right, man. Uh, anything else? You got uh, you got the Reckless Marcy uh, Facebook page as well, All right? Mm-hmm. And uh, what was the name of the new band that you're you're working on? Calvin Decline. K A L V I N N D E C L I N E. There you go. That, that that should be fun. An awesome name too. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right, Sunny Weeks again. Uh, if you want to see the video of him on stage with Green Day again, I I mean, how long did it take to sink in that it actually happened? It's I mean, the still, rest of the show, did you just... That's a good question. I, I wanted to bring that. I literally woke up the next day and have ever since when I watched the video... I've watched it a lot. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I love it. But um, every time he's walking back towards me, yeah. I expect him to pass me by. It's it's that <laughs> surreal. Every yeah. time I have to... It resinks into my brain, you know? Now, were you able to enjoy the rest of the show, or were you just oh, like... Oh, yeah. I went down there and... Everyone was pat me on the back, and we I just went right back to jumping around and having a good time. Their, their shows are amazing. Yeah. I, I have to say, too, this I thought about it a lot because I knew I was going to be talking about it. it this, to me, of course, it, it's such a help to I want to be a musician. It's such a help to my life that they, that they do this stuff, but it just I've, I'm annoying about it. People who know me, I constantly talk about how green day is one of the greatest bands in the world and to me this is just proof of that that they are of their stature and they allow I mean, and you can see people go up there and just destroy the song like bad karaoke and yeah. they do it with smiles on their faces and everyone is so supportive and i just think there should be more of that in the world but i'm grateful that my favorite band does it you know yeah and when you when you when you get off stage you 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 dove into the stage Stage diving. Stage diving. Yeah. Um, when you were back by the drum riser, <laughs> I remember that. I, what were you thinking? Like, I don't even care if they move out of the way, and and this is the way I die. I mean, was that thought going through your head? Like, this has been the ultimate high that I can actually have. I remember in an interview, <clears throat> I've seen every Green Day interview on YouTube, and I remember Mike Durnt or somebody talking about the way you do not stage dive, and that is to tuck your legs up and cannonball. <laughs> Into oh, the geez. crowd, yeah, you I can, can hurt imagine. people, but it is a it's scary thing. It's harder to thing. catch too. Yeah, well, <laughs> exactly. But it's you know, people do it out of fear. They just don't know what to do. Yeah. So I just remember, turn, get on your back, and, yeah. and I just, I don't know. I'm gonna have to take up skydiving after this. <laughs> <or> something, <'cause, laughs> you know. <laughs> so anyway, thanks for coming in, man. I'm so Thank happy you, for you. It was awesome. It, it's great for our area, I think, too. You know. The music scene here, getting somebody on well, a national stage. Like I got to say, man, you know, everybody hates where they're from. It's it's just normal. The grass and, is always greener. Yep, the yeah. grass is always greener. And yes, this area has its problems. But one thing I will say is that the music scene here is is awesome. Mm -hmm. There are so many great bands around, and they a lot of them support each other. I mean, we, we have such a great group of people, and... It is something to be grateful about, and and I firmly believe in my heart and soul that this is heading somewhere. We're going to put this area on the map. There's no way it can't happen as long as the ones who are serious and passionate about it just keep on keeping on, you know? Yeah. And I don't know. I'm that's, that's one thing that this experience did for me is that, uh, you know, I'm, I'm heading into my year 30, and that is a scary thing being a musician, but that just proved to me, just keep going. Yeah. Who knows? You know? Absolutely. Absolutely, man. Thanks for coming in. Sunny weeks. Thanks, Jim.